This is step one for changing and caring for the fistula on my mother's chest. Typically on a Tuesday and Thursday after her shower, the PCA that leaves will leave her clean on her chest. My mother will have her bag removed, it'll be washed in the shower. When you come to change the bag, it'll probably already be removed. And in that case, my mother will put a napkin on her chest to prevent some of the spit that comes through her fistula, which is normal part of the process. What we're gonna do right now is take a look at the fistula, and we're gonna to try to focus just on the fistula area. So we're gonna remove this napkin, which my mother's just put there to keep some of the spit, and we clean the area. Sometimes you can put a gentle water, gentle soap, and you can pat around it. It doesn't matter if you get some soap in the area of the open fistula, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna harm her. When you're done, you're gonna dry it, pat it dry, and then you're gonna use this product called Calvalon, we're gonna have lots of it, 3M. It's a no sting barrier spray. Take the top off and you aim it in the general area and you spray around it. You don't have to worry about getting into the hole itself. It won't harm it if it does. You do a general circle, about three inches in diameter. Look at how many times I've gone around, right? And a nice stop. Then we're gonna get another product. This product is called Brava Powder. And now we're gonna to start to put a little of that on. So let's see if we can get that open. So this is kind of weird. You can ruin the application by putting too much of this. So look at how far away I am. I'm just sprinkling this. Don't worry about if it gets on her face a little. It's not gonna harm her. But you're just putting a little bit. Don't go crazy, because if you put too much, it's gonna cause a problem when you adhere the bag. Then you get your Calvalon spray again, and you spray over. Now this time when you spray over, you don't wanna see the white powder in that space anymore. It's like a double barrier. All right, now we're gonna start the next step. We're gonna let that dry for about 30 seconds and we're gonna apply the bag.